good afternoon it is Saturday I know it's been a while but y'all know me anyway everything has been good everything has been going good okay um, just try to give you guys a quick update Savannah has a new job and I can't tell you where it is for security reasons but she's enjoying that and oh my gosh it's hot the sky is a whole lot clearer because it's just clearer I thought I open the door for her maybe not anyway I thought it was, gonna be hotter out here I thought it was too um but anyway and banana is here with me so she's excited because the mall finally opened up I don't know when it did but she talked me into driving her to the mall a couple weeks ago okay so we're going to the mall and we do have our mask and she actually got a new mask you guys because she lost her other one but show her show her show them your new mask I think it's cute it says vegan if you guys can't read it because I couldn't read it when I first got it she is trying to go vegan and like slowly but surely because honestly you guys ever since this one was a little girl she did not really eat meat meat was no big deal to her and she just didn't like it am i am i lying mm, it's it's yeah yeah I, i'm telling the truth so anyway she is trying to do that slowly and i told her i would support her i eaten vegan food before and it's ended up being really good so that's what we're going to do but anyway it's hot and let's get to the mall. So we're in the mall and we're standing in line for Hot Topic because this one loves it and it's so hot. So we are back home. They didn't monitor the amount of people going into the mall. They did individual stores so it was actually really crowded and they probably should have been monitoring that. I don't know how they would have but I'm sure they could have found some kind of way. So yeah, it, it was it was crowded. And so we did what we had to do and we left. And we went a few other places. We got Vietnamese food for dinner tonight. Um, Savannah got soup and I got vermicelli, vermicelli, whatever rice vermicelli, I think that's how you say it. I'll show you guys in a minute. And we did get another dog. <laughs> Not yet. We got another dog food dish, but the pans are silver just like that. I have them in the sink to wash. Then we got a bed also, but I'm not gonna put it up because Boston's probably gonna think that's his. And no, we don't have the dog yet, but I just wanna have everything for the dog when we do get it they because I, checks. they do house checks. So they did a house check when we got Boston and they wanted to make sure he had his feeding dish and you know, his bed. So that's the reason why we got that one because we never know when we might get the dog. We might get the one I told you guys about. And if not, then we'll get one soon so so savannah mm. got the soup which is really really good she loves the soup really, really good. and i got the beef and shrimp and this right here is fish sauce so this is really really good but i didn't want shrimp but now that i see her i mean shrimp i didn't What's want soup i know but now that i see your soup i wish that i would have got soup oh man and i did plant it plant it my i cannot talk let me just stop talking i watered my plants today so you guys Savannah and I just watched The Social Dilemma on Netflix and if you haven't seen it, go check it out because it literally makes you want to put your phone down and put throw your phone down. Throw it into an ocean far away. Yeah, throw it into an ocean and stay away from social media. It's, yeah. So when my kids were younger and growing up, it's when I guess social media really came into play because I didn't know all the things to like yeah. stop you guys from going on because I didn't know all the little things I had to learn along the way but a lot of these people who I don't want to give any spoilers but some people who work for like the big companies they won't even allow their kids to have social media until they're in high school or something like that so yeah if you have not seen social media no the social dilemma on Netflix go check it out it'll make you think it'll make you think okay it's about 11 11 30 and i'm going to go to bed i know i didn't vlog a lot today shame on me i'm so sorry you guys i will do better tomorrow fall asleep to the show girlfriends on netflix there's eight seasons and i'm already on the third season at the end of the third season so it's gonna end pretty soon because it's only like 20 minutes and i'm going through it really fast so yeah it's gonna be done soon but um i'm not a fan of the 
movie Coraline, the cartoon, because I don't like spiders. And I don't know, the, the cartoon just creeps me out. But I did find this there. It's a keychain. So for you guys, I'm sure you guys have seen Coraline. She goes through another world with a key that she finds. So yeah, I have this. It is really cute. Hey, Savannah. And I'm going to put this on my keys. And I got something else from Hobby Lobby. But I'll show you guys that later. It's like lights for my lanterns in the living room. I'll show you guys that tomorrow. But right now, I'm about to relax. And yeah, Savannah bought some things from um, Hot Topic also. And maybe I'll show you guys that tomorrow if I remember. But anyway, I'm going to go to sleep. Oh, so I forgot to tell you guys that... I got a letter for jury duty and I was able to get my job to write a letter, a hardship letter that, you know, because my job does not pay for jury duty, that it would be a hardship for me if I was to take off and go whatever. So I actually faxed that today and the week they want me to do it, it's like the week after I have my surgery. And I'll tell you guys about that tomorrow, but I just wanted to tell you guys this while I'm thinking of it because I may forget tomorrow but I won't forget to tell you about the surgery because that's something that I have to have done and I probably won't go into too much detail but I'll tell you guys about it These are my lanterns that I keep over there by Savannah's feet. <laughs> anyway, these are my lanterns that I keep over there on the, what do you call it? Not the mantle, but the fireplace floorboard. That's not a thing. I don't know. Anyway, so, so I bought these LED lights that I'm going to put in there. Okay, so here it is. It doesn't look horribly bad, but I'm going to get something to cover that um, battery pack up maybe cover it with flowers or something that way you won't see it so here's what it looks like from the side and I actually think even though this is enough lights let me show you the packaging okay focus focus okay so see how this is 20 count so I should have got one step up which was the I think they had 20 and 60 so I should have got the 60 count so it could just be full of light. Even though I don't mind it with this amount of lighting, I just don't like the battery brick shown. So I'm going to do something to make that look better. And then I'm actually going to keep these right here. I think it's super cute. Y'all, I love girlfriends. Y'all have not watched Girlfriends on Netflix, you gotta watch it. Alright, so it's actually Monday and I'm it's after work. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys my flowers from my birthday. Do you think it's time I throw these out? Yeah, I have enjoyed them a long time, but now they're dead, so you gotta dispose of them. So I am going to leave my cards here a little bit longer because I can <laughs> and my kids know I keep all of my cards and usually I put them away in a box that I have of, of cards that I've had over the years. Sometimes when I'm feeling nostalgic, if that's the word or whatever, um, I'll look at the cards and I'll read them. So are you guys just like me? Do you guys keep your cards or do you only keep your cards from important people? <laughs> or that's kind of mean, important people. Do you keep your cards and or do you just throw them away after you get them? Let me know. Also, I want to show you guys, look what's still alive. Yes, Annie girl. I mean, granted, it hasn't been a month yet, but still, it's alive. It's alive. It does not show any signs of dying or anything like that. And I do take it in the bathroom, in the bathroom, 
So when I'm showering, because my shower is really small, you guys, shower and then the toilet's right there. So now that I have this, when I'm in the shower, I'll close the door, set this on the toilet seat because these plants like humidity. So, so far it's working and the leaves look nice and healthy. Yes, Andy, I have not killed it yet. And yes, Annie watches the vlogs. Say hi to Annie, you guys. But yes, thank you for this plant. It's so beautiful. Annie and Terry got this for me for my birthday, in case you guys didn't know. And it's not dead. So I just wanted to show you guys this and show you how crappy our internet is. So after work today, I edited this video. It's 7.33, okay? And... Today I got off at four, so when I got home I did it, you know, it took me about 20, 25 minutes to edit. Ever since around five o'clock, it's been uploading. And now all of a sudden it says two hours and six minutes left. 80%. It's been going since five o'clock. Yeah, earning it's trash. This is what he does when Savannah's in the shower. He will sit there and wait till she comes out. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Boston. Hi, guys. So today is Wednesday. I am home today. And I am preparing for my surgery um, tomorrow. And I can't even really call it a surgery. I just realized I didn't tell you guys anything about this. I think I mentioned it, and then I didn't say anything. I don't know. Anyway, so once again, here is TMI from Michelle. So... To make a long story short, because I'm sure you guys don't want to hear all the gory details and I don't want to get into them anyway. Um, so maybe like for the past three to four years, I have been having heavy monthlies. So I've just been dealing with it. And fast forward to now, I went to the doctor because I'm tired of dealing with it. And 20 years ago, they would have automatically like hysterectomy, whatever. They're not doing it now because it's not as bad. I did have like a, what do you call it, exploratory surgery last year or within the last 18 months or something like that and just to figure out what's going on with me. So I'm choosing a procedure called myoscopy and then they're going to place the Mirena and the Mirena is a birth control but when used in women like me, it becomes like well it has hormones in it and it's going to hopefully stop everything because I'm 48 years old I'm not looking to have any more kids all that stuff whatever right so I don't need a monthly so they're gonna try to do that first and see how that goes if everything goes as planned then I won't have to have a hysterectomy which is what I'm hoping so the procedure is tomorrow and I'm going that's why I call it a procedure. It's an in-office procedure. I'm not staying overnight at the hospital. This They said that within 24 hours, I will be normal again, which is what I'm hoping because on Friday, I'm actually planning on going down to Southern California because I'm going to meet up with Edna and see her. I know she has other plans and Melissa's going to be there as well. Melissa has other plans. So hopefully at least one day we all three could be in the same room together or something. I don't know. And if not, then... I'm definitely going to see Edna because she's coming all the way from Delaware and I can't wait to meet her and her family. So going back to the surgery. So it's tomorrow and I'm going to be, I can't call it a twilight sleep. My battery's flashing. Even though I know I got time, I feel like I need to rush and tell everything. So let me just change the battery. So anyway, what was I saying? So I don't think... The state I'm going to be in, it's going to be a twilight sleep. It's nothing like that. Of course, I'm going to have pain meds. They're going to numb me and everything like that that they need to do. But because I don't need to be put all the way under, I didn't have to take the COVID test, which I'm thankful for. And I've heard mixed reviews about the COVID test. Um, I, I don't have it, but a lot of times before surgery, now they're requiring people to take the COVID test. So I've heard some people say it's no big deal. And then I seen a picture of a lady who had like a black eye because of it. I don't know. I don't know. I've just, I've seen how they do it and it does not look very comfortable at all. So anyway, that's TMI from Michelle. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. And Cheyenne is actually taking off work. Um, and so am I, of course. 
and she's taking me there um, so yeah I'm gonna vlog as much as I can of course not the procedure you don't want to see that I don't want to see that I don't mean, I, I would prefer to be asleep if they could put me to sleep that's what I would prefer but anyway so that's what's going on tomorrow um, I am just today I'm going to do what I need to do um, get the house clean and I, I will pack tonight because honestly they said that when I'm done I will it will feel like a little crampy and it's sore of course but I should be fine and I'm hoping I'm fine because I gotta make that six hour drive to Southern California the, day, the next day so I'm just gonna I'm just praying I'm just praying that everything goes as planned because my hotel is already paid you guys so I still have not hung up my pictures that I made and I did get command strips but I just didn't put them up yet hey what are you doing what are you doing he's so nosy y'all every time we open something or whatever start talking he just comes like what are you doing Boston the girls are taking out the trash so that's the reason why he's looking so I didn't show you guys but the new dog's bed I just put it right here and I'm pretty sure he's going to be the same size as Boston, maybe a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit smaller, I don't know. So I just got the same size bed that Boston has. And I don't know where I'm going to put it. Boston's bed is actually bigger than the other one, or maybe just because it's flat and not curved. I don't know, maybe over there somewhere. I don't know, you guys, we'll see. We'll figure it out. Okay, so... I'm in my closet and I'm actually about to pack for Friday because after my procedure tomorrow, I'm sure they'll just want me to rest. Light is not very good in here at all. Anyway, so they'll just want me to rest. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pack a bag tonight. I'm only gonna bring like a tote because I'm only staying Friday night, Saturday night, and coming home Sunday. So I don't have a lot to pack. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right, so I am mostly packed. I have all my clothes in here, my shoes, I'm only gonna be there two days. And in here, I'm going to put my electronics, my camera, my charger, I am bringing my iPad, and in here, I'm bringing my ponytails, just to have variety. Yeah, you guys, y'all know I'm the queen of ponytails. I'll finish packing on Friday morning, because we leave Friday when Savannah gets off work. Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, it's the day of my procedure. I'm a little more nervous today than I've been the whole entire time. Now I'm like, why did I agree to this? Why am I doing this to myself? But I know the quality of life is going to be better afterwards. So, yeah, but I'm I'm nervous only because I'm going to be awake. You know what, you guys, I realized this morning, this dress right here, it's a LuLaRoe, like, high-low dress. Good morning, Savannah. Hi. Um, and... The last two surgeries I've had, I've worn this dress. And I think it's because it's flary and it doesn't touch, like, you know, my body, whatever, and it's easy to put on. So now every time I see this dress, I'm going to think of surgery, Savannah. Wow. Wow, you're right. And what else do I want to tell you guys? Oh, so remember, I think I told you guys I got summoned for jury duty, but I had my job write a letter and I faxed that on Saturday and I checked this morning to check on the status and it said my status ended. So I am out. The good thing about it, it has your name so you know you're on the right, you know, the correct page or whatever like that. The badge number that they gave me and it says the jury status ended and my summons date in a so i am all clear um do any of you like jury duty do any of you have any of you had to go and be on the trial or anything like that i have there was one job that i was working on that i absolutely could not get out of it because they paid for jury duty so i couldn't use it as an excuse but every day that I called to see if I reported the next day they told me no call back the next day and so when Thursday came that Thursday of that week they said my jury service ended and they told me it's because the number that they gave me was like a high number and they probably already get the jurors that they need from the lower numbers and then I probably wouldn't even have to go in and I was like hallelujah because I didn't want to do it in the first place the way I feel about jury duty is I don't want to be forced to go I want to be able to go if I want to and I know they say a jury of the pe their peers but 
how about you get retired people or stuff stuff like that i don't want to be on a jury because i'm not god i don't want to judge anyone and it's not my place so that's how i feel about that but anyway jury duty is a no-go right now for me until i get my next letter probably in like in the next year and um, there was a time in my life i was getting them every single year like clockwork and then they just stopped sending them to me anyway um I'm about to leave. Cheyenne is driving me. They gave me a pill, one pill to take one hour before. Just one pill. And I'm guessing this is the one that's going to put me in that loopy state. But they don't want me to take it yet. Normally, they would have me take it at home and then have my procedure or whatever. But because of COVID, they want to stop traffic in and out of the hospital. I need to sign paperwork that they need me to be alert and you know knowing what i'm doing <laughs> not under the influence of you know medication so i'm going to kaiser one hour before sign my papers and then she said right after that i can take the pill so yeah you guys a little bit nervous i'll vlog as much as i can like i said cheyenne is driving me savannah has work so she's not able to go let's go you guys i'm i'm really nervous i'm really nervous but i know i'm in god's hands god's gonna take care of me I was going to say pray for me, but by the time you guys see this, the procedure will be over. So, yeah, we'll pray for my recovering. So they just took my blood pressure and stuff like that. This is not the room that I'm going to be in, but I'm waiting for the nurse to come in to give me a shot that's going to really like put me in that loopy state even though i already feel the effects from the pill so just to give you guys an update i'm feeling loopy and not myself i don't know if you can see it in my eyes but that pill and then they gave me a shot and yeah um in about 15 minutes they're gonna take me back but i'm feeling really really out of sorts <laughs> which is, I guess, what they want you to feel. So um, I'm gonna leave it at that for now. So you guys probably see me on the other side. Not on the other side, but on the other, you know what I mean, after the procedure, okay. But look on the ceiling, <laughs> pictures of fish. So I'm at home, you guys. Um, still have my little band on, but it actually went well, better than I expected. Um, it was mainly anticipation that made me nervous because after I got numb, I didn't feel a thing. And it was funny because we all had our mask on throughout the procedure, of course the doctor did and the nurses, but I kept mine on as well. And usually the nurses, because I've had nurses hold my hand before, you know, throughout things or whatever, but because of COVID, they gave me a, like, that little ball to squeeze so I was squeezing that ball for dear life they gave me another one but I was squeezing the ball that I had for dear life and it wasn't painful at all I'm tired I'm sore I'm having a cramping and all of that is normal so but I just wanted to show you guys that they gave me like a little care package from Kaiser and um, there's a few lady products in here, which I'm not going to show you because you can, you know what it looks like. Um, but then I thought it was weird because, okay, they gave me another ball that I showed you guys that another ball, they gave some crackers and they gave like a little thing of apple juice. So yeah. And then of course a bunch of take home instructions that I can't show you guys because it has my medical record number on and my name and all that stuff so I should be fine once the numbness wears off then I'll really know what kind of pain I'm dealing with oh, they also gave me like a hot pet heating pad that I don't want to use it right now it's one of the ones that you squeeze until it pops or something like that and then it'll um heat up but I don't want to use it now until the numbness wears off if I'm in pain. So I'm just going to relax 
and keep my feet up and do nothing but everything went well you guys all right you guys so i'm actually going to call it a night guarantee you i'm totally fine a little bit of cramping which is gone a little bit of soreness which is still there but nothing major but yeah um i'm gonna be fine tomorrow i'm fine now i mean i'm not gonna go running around because i had a procedure done whatever but all of the i can't even call it anesthetic but anesthesia because they didn't put me under but all of the medicine that I took today all of that's out my system I don't feel sleepy anymore so you guys I'm going to edit this video and I said thank you so much for watching and in the next video we'll be traveling to LA to meet up with Edna and we'll see what we get into all right thanks so much for watching give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video bye what <laughs> Savannah said, subscribe! <laughs>